Dan, Aaron, I was in the courtroom while the verdict was being read, and as soon as the guilty verdict was handed down, I looked over to my right and saw the family of J.D. Alvarado and all of the months of emotional buildup turning into relief as justice was finally served. It was a huge case for our city, for our police department, and for our community. Family, police, and city leaders who knew slain police officer J.D. Alvarado have been dealing with the pain of losing him for over a year and a half. It all came to a head Tuesday when accused killer Gustavo Morales was found guilty of first-degree murder. For Salinas Police Chief Roberto Felice, justice has finally been served. I wasn't looking for revenge, for vengeance or anything like that. I was just looking for the justice to do its job. And today with the guilty verdict that they rendered, justice was served for JD. With emotions building up for so long, when the word guilty left the clerk's mouth, that tension that filled the room turned into relief. Uh, it's hard. It's hard not to get emotional. I mean, for anybody that has been around JD or his family for that matter, um, the last year and a half has been incredibly difficult. I think life without parole is a fitting punishment for uh, the heinous crime that he committed. Now that the punishment has been handed down to Gustavo Morales, Felice says that the police department can start to move forward as hard as that may be. Because this is going to be difficult, and even in the months to come, and you know, it just doesn't get any easier. Yeah, at times they say heal all wounds, yeah, but it doesn't allow you to forget. Chief Felici also mentioned that uh, counseling is available to all the members of the department as they continue to grieve the loss of J.D. Alvarado. Reporting in Salinas, I'm Jake Flores, KSBW, Action News 8.